Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA, and I am back in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, because as many of you know, I am a huge Eagles fan. So I just had to come into Philly to watch the Super Bowl and hopefully celebrate on Broad Street if we win. But as you guys may know, I love cheesesteaks more than any sandwich in the world. So I couldn't stop by Philly without getting an authentic Philly cheesesteak. Last time we went to my favorite place, Delisandro's, but a close second is Max's Steaks. Anyways, I'm hungry and we don't have much time until we go watch the game, so let's go eat. All right, guys, that was a crazy line. That was a two hour wait. It's usually not this long. I think it's because of the Super Bowl, so I think a lot of people were placing multiple orders. Plus, I think a lot of people wanted cheesesteaks to go with their Super Bowl parties, but just check out this huge two foot cheesesteak that we got. So uh, yeah, let's open this guy up and show you. All right, check out this behemoth of a cheesesteak. We waited two hours in line for this, and usually it's not a two hour wait, but I think it was worth it. Even though usually it's more like a five to 10 minute wait, two hours, uh, I would do it again, especially on a Super Bowl. It's cold out today, so let's not let too much heat escape. Let's dig in. All right, guys, we ripped off one half of this. We might save the other half for the Super Bowl later, but let's dig in because it's cold outside and I see the heat escaping, so let's not let this get cold. Let's dig in. Mmm, truly excellent. Now this place is different from most cheesesteak places in that it uses sirloin steak and not ribeye steak. Most cheesesteak places, at least cheesesteak places that I like, tend to use ribeye steak. They usually won't add a lot of fixings. You know, you don't really want to mask any of the natural flavor of the ribeye steak. So usually just cheese, steak, maybe salt and pepper, and that's it, paired with a really good soft bread. This place uses sirloin, and sirloin is a good cut of beef as well, although not quite as good as ribeye, so I think you can get away with adding some fixings. So because of that, we got hot peppers, we got mayo layered inside, because sirloin, you know, is much more lean. So an extra topping or two will really elevate the sandwich and take it much further. And just like I said about Delisandro's, the bread is just so important. Just look at how soft that bread is. Just look, it's soft, yet, there's a little bit of resistance, as you see, some tension there, and that's exactly what you want because you want it to be chewy where you can really enjoy the inside of the sandwich, really, really enjoy the fillings of basically this bread dumpling, but you also want it to have a give. You don't want it to be too soft, like you're eating like a, you know, like a dumpling skin or like pita bread. You still want it to taste like good Italian bread. So all that stuff combined just makes this, in my mind, one of the best cheesesteaks in the whole city. Mmm. Oh. That mayo inside, it really lifts the sandwich. With ribeye steak, you probably don't want to do that because ribeye is already very, very fatty, a little bit more greasy, so the mayo might be a little bit overkill. But here, the mayo that you're adding, the sirloin is very tasty and meaty, but it's lean, so the mayo really helps to really give some moisture to the sandwich, really make the sandwich not so dry and offset the leanness of the sirloin. Honestly, excellent. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments that are gonna complain about that. They're gonna say that a cheesesteak should never have mayo, but but don't knock it till you try it. I mean, at this place, everyone is adding mayo. Pretty much everyone. So you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I mean, this is still Philadelphia, so I think it's fair that we can still call this an authentic Philly cheesesteak, albeit maybe not a completely traditional one, but a very, very good one. Don't skimp on the mayo, and don't skimp on the hot peppers. Those hot peppers, man. I think these are like jalapenos or something. Mmm. It really just adds more heat to this sandwich, really adds an oomph to it. I also got mushrooms. They offer mushrooms here as well. Okay. I mean, they taste like normal mushrooms. I don't really taste the mushrooms that much in this, to be honest, but when I eat the mushroom individually, it's really got fresh portobello mushroom flavor. It's got that nice, juicy, wet mushroom texture that I like. Now, if I can complain about one thing, I kind of wish that the mushroom could be a little bit more charred. I love some charred onions and charred mushrooms taste great too. So I think that really would have lifted the cheesesteak a little bit, but honestly, with or without mushrooms, this sandwich is great. Less talk, more bites. Mmm. I also wanted to point out one more thing. Remember when I was talking about the bread? And just look at how soft the bread has gotten, almost like it's been steamed. Well, I gotta say that actually it is steamed. And for any sandwich, 
wrapping the sandwich is actually really important. You ever notice that ballpark hot dogs always taste better than hot dogs you make at home? Well, the reason for that is because the ballpark dogs are wrapped in foil and that foil, it kind of insulates the hot dog and it steams the bun a little bit from the residual heat of the hot dog itself. So because of that, you get a softer bun, a less stiff bun, a more flexible bun. And when it comes to food, texture is really important. So same thing here. They wrap that whole cheesesteak when it's piping hot, seal in that heat and that steam, and the result is just an extremely soft, even softer bun or even softer Italian roll that just makes it a perfect sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, guys. I just knocked out half of that two foot long cheesesteak. I just ate a whole foot of cheesesteak and it was great. Anyways, I have a few final thoughts, so let me share those real quick. Okay, guys, so I stepped into my car for a few final words. Uh, you know, I don't think anything I'm saying is going to be that bad, but it's mostly just I don't want people walking by to get the wrong idea and to kind of jump to conclusions. So I just want to be considerate to other people. I do want to say one thing about this place is the food is excellent. However, I will say that it's not in the most affluent neighborhood. The neighborhood that it's located in has kind of seen some tough times and there's quite a bit of poverty here. However, that being said, I encourage everyone to keep an open mind. It may be a neighborhood a little bit down on its luck, but most people who live here, just like in any other neighborhood around the world, are all good people and all hardworking, kind people. And honestly to some people from out of town the neighborhood might scare you a little bit but just go about your business keep to yourself don't cause any trouble and odds are no trouble will come to you you really won't have any problem if you just mind your own business now granted of course use some common sense i mean at nighttime maybe be a little bit more cautious but other than that during the daytime you'll have no issue this is a great restaurant with great food beloved by locals there's a reason why creed used it as a cameo definitely check this place max's steaks out there's nowhere in this world that i won't go for good food. I'll go to any corner of this country, any corner of the whole world, if it means I'm going to find a great meal there. So I'm glad I was able to show you guys one of my favorite sandwich spots in Philly, in the whole East Coast, in the whole US even. And I hope you enjoyed watching me eat it. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Have you been to Max's before? And what's your favorite cheesesteak place? Let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. I got to head out now because it's time to watch the Super Bowl. Go Eagles! And until next time, I'll see you later. I think that's good. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's probably good.